Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan and today I'm going to talk about how chemical estrogens are responsible for the epidemic of women's health diseases. So here in America today, women are sick as hell. They are very sick. They're suffering from high rates of breast cancer, high rates of diabetes, high rates of endometriosis, high rates of fibroids, high rates of obesity, high rates of breast cancer, high rates of cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, the list goes on. And according to conventional wisdom, all oh, this is genetic. You know, the reason why women have these diseases is because they have bad genes, man. They need to get their genes checked out by some geneticist who has some patented test, the BRCA genetic test, which does absolutely nothing for breast cancer because it has been proven that breast cancer is only roughly about 10% genetic. Uh, and that's what many conventional scientists say. I say it has nothing to do with genes whatsoever. And if it does have something to genes, it has to weigh with the way your genes express themselves. I'll get into more of that later. But if you follow conventional wisdom, women are sick because of all these genes and because they're fat and lazy and they eat too much. That's why they're so fat. But the reality is, is that, you know, why are women being obese when they're born? Why are seven year olds going into puberty when they're only seven years old? Why are they going into puberty and developing breasts and pubic hairs? We're only seven years old. All these things are happening for women here in America. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is another disease. Women actually grow facial hair. So all these different diseases that women have are due to the influx of chemical estrogens that we have seen within the past 100 years. Uh, these estrogens are hiding in a variety of products that women use on a consistent basis. And they are the reason why women suffer from so many of these diseases, which, you know, according to conventional medicine, are incurable. Breast cancer is uncurable. You have to go and get your breast radiated in order to prevent the breast cancer, which makes absolutely no sense because if you're radiating your breasts, you're exposing your breast to a carcinogen. So how the hell is radiating your breast gonna prevent it? You know, mammograms are actually designed to cause breast cancer, not to prevent them. And also they are designed to find breast cancer because most breast cancer is not really dangerous unless you're really looking for it. Unless you're making a, seeking to make a profit off of selling women chemotherapy. When you tell them that they have breast cancer, oh, oh my, you have breast cancer, it's going to kill you. When the reality is, is that breast cancer doesn't kill. It's chemotherapy and radiation which kills. So the reason why women have, women have so many of these diseases is because of all these different estrogens. Uh, many of these chemicals uh, are direct byproducts of the petroleum industry. So, you know, the Rockefellers and some of these other um, oil magnates, they drill for oil in the ground. And, you know, they had all these leftover chemicals left. Like, okay, you know, we have all these chemicals. We can either, you know, just dump them in the ocean or we can make a profit off of this. Let's go ahead and make a profit. So, henceforth, you have all your pesticides, all your plasticizers, all of your plastics, uh, all of your plastic bags, uh, chemicals that are found in carpets, that are found in pots and grocery receipts. These chemicals are found everywhere. They have been, there have been 100,000 synthetic chemicals that have been released on the market since the 1900s, and none of them have been tested. And don't believe for one second, even if the government was testing these chemicals, that they still be safe. Because the FDA and the EPA approved tons of chemicals, tons of extremely toxic chemicals, which are very, very dangerous because the government works on behalf of big business. They do not work on behalf of the people. So uh, these chemicals, uh, they're found in tampons. They're found in cosmetics. They're found everywhere. And most of these chemicals, they mimic estrogen. And estrogen, you know, it is a female hormone, but it is a growth hormone. So whenever you are exposed to too, too much estrogen, then you're going, that's going to cause things in your body to grow. It's gonna cause tumors in your body to grow. It's gonna cause fibroid tumors to grow. It's gonna cause you to grow because whenever women have higher levels of estrogen in their body, they tend to store and create fat because the body thinks it's pregnant. That's why one of the so-called symptoms or side effects of the birth control pill is weight gain because your body thinks that, hey, my, my Estrogen levels are high, so I must be pregnant. I should prepare to, you know, to feed a new life, uh, to breastfeed and, and, and to be a host for a new life. So that's what happens when you are exposed to most of these chemicals. And the dangerous thing about these chemicals is that they actually cause most of the problems in the womb. 
So for example, one of the most common chemicals that women are exposed to is bisphenol A. Bisphenol A is a chemical found in canned foods, it's found in grocery receipts, uh, it's found in a whole host of items, but those are the primary ways that women are exposed to some of these chemicals through bisphenol A and through grocery receipts. So bisphenol A, when you are exposed to bisphenol A in the womb, it causes you to actually develop breast cancer within the womb. Not only that, but it changes the way your genes express through something known as epigenetics. It's a really uh, convoluted scientific term. But basically, the study of epigenetics studies the way genes express themselves because it's really difficult to change a person's genes, but you can change the way those genes express themselves. So if you are exposed to certain chemicals within the womb, what happens is that they will change the way your genes express. So toxic chemicals like bisphenol A, which again, they mimic estrogen, they actually change the way your genes express to the degree where those genes actually become cancerous genes. So it's not that you have, uh, not that breast cancer is genetic, it's that chemicals are changing the way women's genes express themselves to later on in life, they will develop breast cancer. They will develop diabetes. They will develop heart disease. They will develop polycystic ovarian syndrome. They will develop early puberty. Uh, they will develop uh, you know, a whole host of health problems as a result of being exposed to the chemicals within the womb. And the major, major, major thing is that these, these genetic expressions are infinite, meaning that if you are exposed to bisphenol A within the womb, those changes that happen within the womb will be passed along through subsequent generations on, on down. Meaning that if you're exposed to bisphenol A, if a mother's exposed to bisphenol A, her daughter will develop breast cancer, her granddaughter will develop breast cancer, and her great-granddaughter will develop breast cancer. And these epigenetic changes occur, you know, uh, you know all the way down um, until, you know, humanity uh, dies. So these chemicals are extraordinarily dangerous. And most, of the, and most of the things that are done to women happen within the womb. So most women are being born with breast cancer. They're being born with early puberty. They're being born with polycystic ovarian syndrome. They're being born with fibroids. They're being born with endometriosis. And later on in life, when they're exposed to some of these chemicals, which are found in tampons, again, in cosmetics, uh, they're found in pots and pans that you use, they're found in the, plas the plastics that you use, then that increases, that increases likelihood even more that you'll manifest these, these diseases. The breast cancer rates now are co close to one in eight. And that is not something that is due to genes. You know, genes do not change that much within, a, within you know, a few decades. But what has changed is that women are being exposed to extraordinary, le extraordinary levels of these chemical estrogens. Uh, and as I mentioned, they're found everywhere. There's no way you can avoid them. They're found uh, in water, they're found in soil, and the chemicals do not break down. And we must remember that we live on a planet. Uh, we live on a circle. So whatever you put in one area is going to eventually end up in another area. Uh, we, live in a, we live in a closed system. So if you pollute the river over here, then be prepared for the ocean over there to be polluted as well. Uh, so these chemicals, they're found in fish. Uh, they're found in a whole host of products. And that's the reason why women have so many health challenges today, including obesity. Because as I mentioned, estrogen is a fat storing and promoting hormone. And any chemicals which mimic estrogen not only will it cause you to store and create fat, but they will also stimulate the release of insulin, which is your body's fat storing and promoting hormone. So for many women out here, when they're being exposed to chemicals such as bisphenol A, that chemical is telling their body to store fat because it's mimicking estrogen. And when, when those cell receptors uh, receive that chemical uh, on, you know, on its receptors, then you know, the body's like, okay, let's store some fat here because you know, there's, this, you know, there's a lot more estrogen that's being produced. Uh, and even more is that the bisphenol A stimu stimulates the release of insulin, and that's why it's linked to type 2 diabetes. These chemicals also cause you, they also cause your fat cells to be able to absorb more fat, so they create bigger fat cells. So that's why they're linked to obesity when you are exposed to that as a baby, because they actually create the fat cells within your body that are huge and can store humongous layers of fat. Because if you have smaller fat cells, then you can't store as much fat. But if you have bigger fat cells, you can store a whole lot of fat. And that's another reason why women today are suffering from such high rates of obesity. Again, because these chemicals are found in shampoo and a whole host of products. So as I mentioned, the chemicals are extremely difficult to avoid. As I mentioned, you know, you can avoid grocery receipts. You can avoid canned foods. 
you can avoid some t some some types of plastics. But as I mentioned, they're also found in in pesticides. Uh, they're found in in the soil. They're found in uh, many types of foods. They're found in pots and pans. So the best way you can lower your risk of all these different diseases that I just mentioned, and also to protect your children and your family, is to avoid exposures to these chemicals altogether. There's no way you can totally avoid them, but you can, can greatly minimize your risk of these diseases and your risk of being exposed to these chemicals. Because as I mentioned, um, as long as these chemicals are around, women are going to be sick. And the interesting thing to note is that these chemicals are actually created by the pharmaceutical industry. So you have you know, pharmaceutical companies creating the very problem that they're seeking to fix. So they're creating demand for more chemotherapy, for more breast cancer awareness, and all these uh, stupid ass walks that women participate in unknowingly, you know, that the, the same corporation that they're supporting through the breast cancer walk actually supports scientists which say that chemicals such as, such as bisphenol A are not dangerous. When the reality is, is that these chemicals are killing women and they are causing millions of women to experience a whole host of health challenges as a result of being exposed to them. And again, they're being exposed to them not by choice. Because, you know, women don't know when they buy these products that, these, that these, these products contain bisphenol A and some of these other very dangerous chemicals. So the best thing you could do is, again, to avoid your exposures to these chemicals. And I have an awesome recording called Harm by Hormones, um, which helps women to avoid some of these uh, environmental estrogens um, and also how to detox your body from these different chemicals. Because there are ways that, you know, you can detox because the chemicals do store themselves within your body. Uh, and, you know, again, that can cause even more health challenges. So the link for that is down below. It's called Harm by Hormones, How Estrogen Mimicking Chemicals Harm Women's Health. It's an awesome recording with a lot of, a lot of great information there for women uh, to avoid some of these really, really toxic chemicals and how to dramatically cut your risk of breast cancer, PCOS, fibroid tumors, endometriosis, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, obesity, diabetes, and the list goes on. Uh, because these, these endocrine disrupting chemicals, as they're officially known, are, are, are a major cause of human disease here in the 21st century, particularly women's disease. Um, and, and again, as I mentioned, these chemicals do tend to remain around for a long time. And since women naturally have more fat in their body, uh, these chemicals do store themselves in fat. Uh, you know, again, for the average woman out here, she's being exposed to almost 535 different types of chemicals. She has 535 different types of chemicals within her body. So women's bodies today are a chemical waste dump. They're a chemical waste dump. And women don't even know, you know, that their bodies have been turned into this. Uh, so they wonder why they get so sick and, you know, they have these migraines because the, the chemicals cause migraines as well because they mimic estrogen. Uh, they, they don't know what have, why they have migraines and why they have breast cancer and they keep doing all these walks, but breast cancer doesn't go away and they're going to a doctor and they're getting into mammograms, but nothing's happening. And the reason why is because, you know, they're not getting to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is estrogen. Estrogen is fueling all these different diseases in women and particularly chemicals which mimic estrogen. Uh, so if you want to get to the root of the problem, you have to eliminate all of the excess estrogen. And an even worse thing is that, again, as I mentioned, the chemicals cause obesity. And, you know, when you become obese, you actually produce more estrogen, the fat cells do, which increases your likelihood of getting, of getting, these, diseases, of getting these diseases even more. So that's the reason why you want to avoid some of these really toxic chemicals. So, again, purchase that recording. It's awesome uh, for those of you who wish to improve your health uh, and to protect your, your children and your family. Um, it's a really great recording, which I'll post a link for down below. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.